What is up guys, Systematic Psycho here, and welcome back to another episode of Tanks I Care About, a little series where I jump into a tank that deserves some recognition and give it a little bit of love. Today, we'll be featuring the SU-100P, a BR 6.3 tank destroyer, and that it does pretty well. It's lightly armored with a powerful gun, and it is fairly maneuverable to get you out of some sticky situations, which really helps it shine as a tank destroyer. The chassis only weighs 21.6 tons, and it makes 400 horsepower. Unupgraded is 354, but it's still plenty for a 21 ton chassis and it does manage to make a top speed of 65 kilometers an hour where that is pretty generous it's not completely impossible to do and uh, most notably it has a reverse rate of 20 kilometers an hour which really 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 helps you get out of some of those sticky situations this chassis comes packed with the 100 millimeter d50 cannon with a reload rate of 9.75 seconds base and a pretty nice 7.5 second reload once you get it all the way maxed out the tank comes with three types of armor-piercing high explosive, which I'll be focusing on the first round, which is the BR-412, and uh, we're looking at about 218 millimeters of penetration at 10 meters, uh, and it tapers off pretty hard at the long range, but the second round is the BR-412D, which we get a 239 millimeter base pin, and we taper down a lot less seriously, which lets you kind of deal with Tiger II's turrets from really long range. So I do like the BR-412D. Not the biggest deal though, because the base round already has enough pin to kind of do what you need it to do. We also have a smoke round and a high explosive round, which are always nice to have, but I don't find myself using them very much. The two limiting factors of this tank are its negative four degree gun depression, but that's to be expected on a Russian tank chassis. And the turret only seems to traverse about maybe 80 degrees to the left and or to the right which uh, is not too bad you don't seem to be focusing on it too much but sometimes you'll get completely turned around and you'll notice it which is why I recommend getting the tracks and horizontal turret drive modification early on because it will help as we take a look at the tank we'll notice that it is lightly armored all the way around with the most you're getting on the front is 25 millimeters of armor and about 20 millimeters up here at the turret uh, it's enough to kind of deal with 50 cals as long as they're not right in your face um, but you do have the benefit of having a low silhouette we do have this upper front plate which is actually really sloped and it can bounce rounds but not often but it does happen you will see it happen as far as upgrades are concerned of course parts and FPE for this tank uh, but after that as I mentioned earlier, tracks and horizontal turret drive help a lot. You're going to be traversing this tank a ton to jump yourself on from target to target because this turret rotates very, very slowly. Uh, next, I would definitely go for adjustment of fire to put you close to getting the BR-412D. And then after that, it's just going to be all performance stuff. Uh, and then anything after that, I would probably say use your own discretion. Uh, whatever you want the tank to do for you. For our first gameplay here, we'll be on the Middle East with a completely stock SU-100P. This gameplay does do a pretty decent job at showcasing how maneuverable this tank is stock and just the power of the 100mm gun. Uh, that armor piercing high explosive has enough filler in it to just take care of everything, so enjoy. Oh, shit. All right, I got eyes on like a lot of their tanks, so. It's a shame that that wasn't a good spot, but we got somebody right here. Done. All right. I think we can make a comeback. I, we saw quite a few people, so uh, let's see if we can assist him. Who's he shooting at? He's good. He's just moving some stuff out of his way. A stupid move. I did not hear him that whole time. That was pretty crazy. Uh, okay. Time to focus then. That was that was not good. Alright. Let's go help this guy out. Okay. Took his cannon. Oh, his cannon was already out. Okay. This is a bad situation. Transmission. He's stuck. Our guy can work on him. There's another panther over there. See if we can push up right here and help him out. Okay, 
I got a tank right here, Tiger. Here we go. This should be easy. There it is. We're gonna push back down. This is one of the few Russian tanks with a reverse gear. Um, I don't know if you played many Russian tanks up to this point, but this is uh, this is one of the ones that that really kind of stands out as far as its performance and uh, and just generally being decent. We're still fighting. We're gonna keep pushing up. Okay, got a tank right here. Hopefully he does not see me. Okay, he is occupied. Should be an easy kill. Got another tank far. And we can't get the depression, but we're going to get him because he is not paying attention. Oh, my goodness. There it is. I'm going to back up. Got a tank. Should be somewhere about right here now. There he is. He's getting engaged. Got a bounce. Okay. Is he willing to push? Let's put him in a little bit of a situation here. Where is he at? Okay, his tank is right there. There we go. Come on, turret. There he is. He's done. Let's back it up. Got a warble over here. He could be a big threat. Got another tank pushing out right here as well. Oh, and we're getting out of here. We're out of here. Like, big time. Okay. Gotta get a cannon barrel repair in. Uh, Oswin's on his way over here. Let me see if I can. Oh, let's see if I can. way no way all right we're gonna work on getting this turret turned oh my goodness what is my turret doing oh this guy's gonna hate me here we go guns up and he's done okay no way <laughs> oh wow that guy really didn't see me this is a good spot though, look at all this cover. I've never really played this two cap mode like this seriously, but PK, he is still watching for me. Okay, he's not paying attention. Big push, big push. Got the walk, there we go, bagging it up. Ooh. I think it's the time to be bold. I think we've shredded them quite a bit. And we've once again had a decent... Oh, there's one. There we go. Rest in peace, cheat. Oh, that's... Oh, man, a plane. It doesn't take long before their whole, uh... Whole freaking air force is, is, is out to kill you, so... There it is. Oh, he's hit me with a back gunner. That's game. Hopefully we can get this cap before it's over. Oh, come on. Give me the cap. 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 Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. We had a decent round. A really decent round, especially for a complete stock tank. But, I mean, no problems at all, really. Just dealing with that armor, doing what we had to do, getting sneaky, getting breaky, and a pretty good post-game stat, too. I'm fine with 70,000 lines and definitely 8,000 research as well, so... As for our second gameplay today, we'll be featuring the fully upgraded SU-100P on Fields of Poland. Really good map for showcasing the true performance of this tank. Uh, it's pretty quick, and it's got a good gun, and this is the map for it. So I hope you guys enjoy as we jump into the live gameplay. Alright, just me and this M18 capping right now. We're going to jump on it. I'll help him out for sure. Uh, it gives you a good opportunity to take this hill and kind of peek it. Because their spawn is like right over there, and usually guys come right down through these woods. So once we get this cap, I'm actually gonna skirt hard left, and hopefully 
nobody's in this little valley to shoot at me. But we're gonna move. Alright, got you, bud. There it is. Gotcha. Okay, here's this guy. We're gonna shoot at a thousand now? There it is. that gun back forward. Keep moving up this hill. Okay, this guy is right there. Hopefully he shoots again. Okay, that means we got him. That's what that means. 100%. Got my reload in. Got him over here. Big boy. He's done. Another reload in, watch our six. Got one left. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, sucks, dude. Oh, sucks. Hey, what you looking at? somebody pretty far. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see them. I'm going to take the shot at this guy anyway. That'll work. It'll slow him down for a little bit. But this position is not going to work. Uh, I believe we had a shot go over my head. Okay, that guy's calling people out of rear. I'm just going to keep pushing up here. Hopefully nobody sees me. Okay, I got some. I seen somebody out here. That's this guy. There he is. And somebody pushed our friendly. It looks like a challenger. Just saw his muzzle flash, and he's down. It looks like an M36, actually. There's another one. He's done. Oh, I had him too. We got another one coming out here. And we kind of just essentially baited him into the spawn trap, really. I mean, that's that's really the whole point of getting this flank is, is to be able to control the enemy team. I'm not going to push into their spawn, but I'm also not going to give them a chance to get out. And we got somebody close here. Here he is. Okay. Nice and easy. Watch how nice this little one shot is. Beautiful. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. And then I got somebody right here. That's a dead guy. But there's somebody right there. Okay. And that's an about to be dead guy. Okay. And tap. There it is. Whew. That was pretty. That was a pretty shot. Because if uh, I'd hit him in the side of the turret, there's a pretty big chance that, that round wouldn't have done anything. As the Jumbo's turret is very heavily armored. All the way around. Okay, this guy's calling out somebody here. And I think I just got shot from this direction. Ooh. Oh, fuck, I tried. Okay, well, we tried. Hey, but eight kills? Not bad. And he's trapped, so he's not going to be able to do anything, and he's not really in a good spot, so uh, their team is just going to drain tickets. Well, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, drop me one of those likes. Yeah.